Coming up next on Nick at Night, weeknight update with Ellie Mueller. Then, the wee hours with Craig Knightley. Followed by, movie night with Will DeVacus. That's next on Nick at Night. Straight from the YouTube Dog Show, where nobody knows what David Beckham is up to now, except for these guys. It's week now up there with Ellie Mueller. And now, a man who knows that David Beckham can kick a ball further than anybody else, Ellie Cuggy Mueller. Ha! Welcome to the week now update. I'm Ellie Cuggy Mueller. What is up, my grasshoppers? Let's do this thing. Tonight's Child's Fight winners are Specs Fire Canvas Fan Edits. Now, Power 9 is video anti videos. The Barkis with his uh, movie night program. At the time of 18, with his uh, podcast, his rants, his discussions, and whatnot. The Anthony Prentice show with his uh, reactions. Manuel Gabbard with his singing covers. Lights Books with his singing. Uh, I mean, with his gameplays. Manuel Gabbard with his singing covers. Uh, Lights Books with his gameplays. Michael Sarkast is our Michael program. Bucket Cannon Net, the slash Waggy Vortex 733 VA Studios. Emotional Firefly is 97 with uh, all things random. And Plumber J2 exclamation mark with. A whole lot of uh, a whole lot of tricks up his sleeve involving game shows. All right. Now, while we uh, have uh, all that taken care of, there's still uh, some business at hand. David Beckham. That's the topic of tonight's show. A man who wants to keep kicking the ball. Well, uh, whether you call it soccer or football. At least you can thank him for using his feet. He wasn't using his head recently though. He wanted to do a documentary about his life and he asked Netflix, 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 excuse me, Netflix and Amazon for some help. Really? That's vain. And immature. Especially concerning the fact that Netflix has been having nothing but bad luck lately. And bad movies. Now, I would say these He's totally fame, but he's a pretty nice guy. He told his Inter Miami FC club recently to never give up after losing five matches in a row. That's right. He's right. Never give up. Even though some people might be better than you are, you should still keep going. Or to put in his uh, term, kick away, kickers. Kick away. And now it's time for Adam's Corner. Now, usually when Adam's segments uh, come on, he's uh, swearing a lot. But this time, not so much. As Adam you can Black see, right here. Himself. Hey, it's time once again for Adam's Corner. When we did this last week for the first time, people were a little confused. Well, we're doing it again, and hopefully you won't be uh, too confused this time. Today I'm brought to you by the letter D for David Bishop. Beckham. Beckham. I know his name. Let's see. He owned the international Inter Miami FC club. Now, Mexican. football or soccer? Football and soccer. Soccer is called football in other countries. Ah, uh, you, you, you right. Mm. So I'm guessing that this man is some type of soccer player, huh? He's a soccer enthusiast. Alright. Well, he's I, from the UK, so uh, they call it. And he's British too. Alright, I like it, Kudji. Let's see what else is on your report. He has been trying to get a documentary about him on, on TV for months. Netflix and Amazon. Now why you want a damn documentary? What have you done? Mr. Cunningham from Beckingham? What have you done? Tell me. Other than have a FC club, football club. What, what you want? You ain't got nothing. Let's see. He plays. I knew he played football. See, I told y'all. An upstanding Jack playing football. And the All right. Wild goals, I'm telling y'all. He needs some help. Now, why the hell does he say that he needs some help? Who wrote this script? The government script, the notes. Who wrote this? Who said he needs help? Was it you, cameraman? No, it came from uh, the home office in Mars, apparently. That's it! Mars! I'm going to Mars! <laughs> that was pretty good. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, alright? I think that might be one of the best uh, Adam's Corner uh, bits we've ever done. It's, 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 it's the second one, and it seems Adam Black has, has contained himself. Top eight list is coming right now. Let's do this thing, yes, yes! I do believe these are the top eight nicknames for David Beckingham. Number eight is Great Kicker. Number seven, The Kickstar. Number six, Vain Kicker. Number five, this doesn't make any sense. Vain Armpits. No, me, okay. Number four, The Flipper. Number three, The Mud Monster. Number two, Mr. Vain. And number one, I can't believe that no uh, newspaper has picked up on this. The vanity kick. You know what? I'm, I'm, we, I'm tired. Not. Nah. This is still week now update. Unless you think this is a joke, it's still week now update. This is your final right. night. We shall return momentarily. You gotta finish your project. Not today. Pull the lever, Crunk. Run lever. No, it's not. Why do we even have that lover? When it's night time across the nation, stay on your favorite station. It's a viewer's delight. Nick, 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 nick at night. So you're going to be shopping for carpeting soon, huh? Well, let me tell you what you can expect. You can expect high prices, for one thing. But Empire still has 100% nylon pile carpeting from $6.95. And with others, you can expect to be charged a lot extra for padding and installation. But not at Empire. Empire includes polyfoam padding and professional installation. And with others, you can expect to wait weeks, maybe months, to get your carpet delivered and installed. Sure. But Empire has the carpeting you want in stock, so you can have it in days. And when you call 588-2300, who comes right out to your house with samples? Empire. Right. And who gives you credit terms with no installment payment for 60 days? Empire. Of course. And who gives you a Bissell rug shampoo or absolutely free with two rooms or more? Empire. You can bet on it. So call Empire, the carpet king. 588-2300, Empire! Thank you, Edward Scott and the boys. Ed, how you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine as well. By the way, Ed, best things in life are free. Is that the name of that song? You got it. You got it. Right, now, I like that song. Sam Cooke was a pretty good to uh, sing that song. But I especially love the Temptations with Paul Williams and all the others. Yes, that was uh, pretty good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Classic song. Classic song. Yes. And from a classic song, we turn to a classic sketch we call the Random Report. Yes. From somewhere outside the Comedy Central Studios, where David Beckham likes to practice kicking the ball around from dusk until dawn, it's the Random Report. And now, three of the greatest football players in town, Michael, Leroy, and Marina. Good morning. Welcome to the Random Report. Yes, football. David Beckham's British. Why do we say soccer here? No, I'm Dad, I'm in the middle of a show. I can't. Well, no! The random report is. No! The random report. You don't have to start no the show over again. I can't from. do that. And I'm. Michael, 
I'm Leroy. And I'm Marina. Famous football player David Beckham is trying to make a documentary all about his life. He's talking to Netflix and Amazon about it. Is this what the world has come to? More documentaries about certain athletes? Apparently. Meanwhile, his Inter-Miami CF club lost five matches in a row, but David told the fans that everything takes time to grow. Wow, I should be a random poet someday. Okay, he also said that the hard times will lead to something better in the future. And he's right. We've all been through tough times before. But look at us now. We're here. Yep. We're on the weeknight during the wee hours of the morning. Wait, what's our competition? Nothing but infomercials. Okay, now for some random poetry with Dave Passions. Joining him this morning is Miss Becky. Oh, I've got to see this. David Beckham wants a documentary, and that's pretty rough. He begged Amazon to make it, and that gig is tough. He called Netflix too. That's pretty bland. Why not do the ESPM or TV Land? Anyway, he encouraged everyone to never give up. Life is tough, but there's always water in every single cup. Yes, indeed. But this poem needs to end. Let's turn it over to Luther because he's a good friend. Dave Passions and Miss Becky, everybody. Thank you very much. I can't believe you two can recite poetry together. Well, after seeing Dave recite random poetry for the past couple months, I thought he needed a partner. So, here I am. Also, she wants to interview David Beckham on Nick and I, but Craig Knightley is the only person who can do that, so this is the next best thing for her. Dave, nobody wants to know hey, that. Don't make it worse. Come on, Miss Becky. Don't listen to me. Don't make it worse. I think it's cool that you want to interview celebrities on your own show. Dad's gonna make it sure? worse for you, Earl. Yeah, I want to do that on my show too. Hey, Earl, he's gonna make it worse. Don't make it to the don't, top uh, someday. Don't do yes, it. you will. I mean, look at the... Greg Stevenson. Yep. I was working at a random store for a few weeks. Look at me now. I'm a producer on Nick and Nat. You're doing a great job, Greg. <laughs> Thank you. But it looks like we're out of time. So. I'm Greg Stevenson, The Random Report. I'm Miss Becky. I'm Luther. I'm George Thompson. I'm Dave Passions. I'm Michael. I'm Leroy. I'm Marina. And I'm Dr. Andrew. No. Keep running, and if David Beckham challenges you to a football match, then please accept it. Good night and good morning, everybody. This has been The Random Report. Now back to weeknight updates, David Beckham Spectacular. Then stay tuned for the overnight show as Marley Carson talks about David Beckham. And then the wee hours with Craig Knightley and his guest, David Beckham. That's all coming up on Nick at Night. Why is the production company called Casting Show? The random report was taped in front of a live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando at Universal Studios, Florida. Hello out there from TV land, it's really great to see you. Get great TV pleasure from Nick at Night. It was a good sketch, but... As usual, uh, some things are marred, uh, marred. Not by uh, anything that uh, that popped up on the screen, but what you saw, uh, what you didn't see, uh, you know, while the sketch uh, played. You know, uh, everything was going haywire. You know how everything is. You know what? Uh, let's have some talking time. Let's talk about. It. Let's go. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock. Alright, Adam, um, tick tock. You know how our uh, talking time is the chickens and the lickens and all the other stuff, right? You remember uh, the rest, right? Hey, you know, wait. BBC, you already know, before you give it, you give it up. Go! Chicken licking, and you already know the fucking song. Let's go! Let's talk about Slug Around! You want to talk about David Breaking Ham? David Breaking yes. I'm Kame, and this is Kungi. Yes, now. David Beckham, the uh, football star. Yes, that's right. We said football instead of soccer because uh, football and soccer, you know, uh, they're, they're practically the same thing, right? They're the same thing, right? No, Just different names, you know, all around the world. No. Yeah. Now, he was uh, inspired by the recent Michael Jordan uh, documentary entitled The Last Dance. 
right? Yeah. You know, and he's uh, in talks with uh, Amazon and Netflix to make a film about his life. The star is producing the project with his TV company, Studio 99. And I'm like, really? Yeah. Netflix and Amazon? Yeah. Why on earth would you choose Netflix? That Especially sounds, considering the fact that... Uh, listen, that sounds like a match made in ad heaven. Because think about it. You have Netflix. Netflix has uh, that they, bad film. They have movies and they share content. They they sell your data, right? Yeah, and then so. Amazon can use that data to make you buy something or recommend you ads. This is the perfect cap. Think about it. It's a no-brainer. But, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? And then Sarah so told the son it's something David is, is excited about and has wanted to do for a while. The film will feature new content and archive footage. And I'm like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. All right. Usually, if there's a documentary to be made about uh, a famous uh, athlete, someone else would usually uh, jump at the chance. If there's like some to go to, to go on with an athlete, this is how it goes. Tell me, boy. What, 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 what have you done? I am the championship kicker of the New England sports team. Okay, great. Tell me, how, how is your child? I had a silver, a, a silver spoon in my mouth when I was born. Yeah, get out. Leave. Get the fuck out. Because, you know, they want to tell a story. They don't want, like, yeah, I train hard. And now I'm number one. No. They want the juice. They want exactly. the juicy stuff. Yes. They, they want, want the ketchup, they want the, the mayonnaise, the hot sauce, the pima, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But uh, but here's the thing, all right? David Beckham is uh, interested in, uh, in only talking about himself. Okay. You Wait, know? What? Yeah. David Beckham wants... Uh, Wants to do a uh, autobiography, not really a documentary per se. Okay, depending on 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 what you on what you have done and what you've gone gone through, that might be some good. That might be something that, that you might want to put in the autobiography. But the thing is, here's the thing: who would want to read that? And why would? Yeah, uh, I forgot what I was going go, going to say, but but I had. I, I had some smart. I fucking lost it. Anyway, go. Now, next up we have. Uh, he is actually a part time owner of the Inter Miami CF Club. Or FC. Yeah, CF. There's an FC club, but. Uh, yeah. They lost. Uh, the club lost five matches in a row. They got folded. I. But here's the thing. It's like you kick. I mean, you twist your ankle. Right. But even though they lost the five matches in the world, and usually, a, uh, usually an owner would say, no, no, I quit. But uh, Dave, uh, to his credit, uh, went on Instagram and said, sometimes the world is long and you need to take a breather. Manchester United, Real Madrid, La Liga, and a premiership wasn't built in a day. Teams, players, and clubs need time to flourish, but when they do, all the hard times seem so distant. It's important to take time to reflect on what we have achieved so far. I'm proud of my team, our club, and the amazing fans that we have. Patience is a virtue. Ba ba basically, it's like, it is what did. We got folded, but don't worry. We're training. Only problem is, you know, uh, here's what uh, people are saying, you know, uh, you know, uh, there's a, you know, he shared a message with the uh, supporters after the 2020 MLS expansion club, right? You know, uh, they were officially eliminated, you know, you know, and I think that there's this rule that states that if you uh, lose at least five matches in a row, then you are eliminated. From, from that year's tournament or that tournament? That year's yeah. Uh, tournament, yes. Yeah. Now it's, but here's the thing, right? It was their inaugural season. First season no, no, ever. No, 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 no. 
not. You play yourself. I am a football player. I'm good. I'm a good girl, girl, girl. Right, all that good shit. Right, and you finna fuck up like that. You give, you, you finna get five losses. Let me, let me tell you something. Right. The fact that you got five losses and then expect the auto by all bi bi biography mm -hmm. is stupid. You should ask for one after, like, you get past this hardship. Not before. You're an idiot. You're stupid. Right. I'm sorry. Go on. No, that, it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's just that, you know what, sometimes there are uh, people who uh, don't care about the... Your name. They seem as... I don't know either, Adam, but come here, man. Does it look like uh, David Beckham will ever get back on the right track? Because he used to be uh, at the Manchester uh, club, remember? I think if he just focuses on getting better and he doesn't, like, try and push himself in the forefront, he will, he will be fine. He will be great. But if he continues to talk about himself and, and let his skills diminish... Keep in mind that he's also an owner. He owns the club. Oh, so you're so you're the owner. You're the self-proclaimed best player of one of docu a documentary. Right. And you fucking around, getting losses. Yeah, leave. All right, folks. That is it for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. All right. We'll see you back here on Monday when we will begin our week-long. Uh, Week long dedication to Halloween. Of course, Halloween is a little bit different this year, but we're going to do what we can. We're going to do what we can. We're going to have fun. Have a good weekend. That's n enjoy the ending experiment. That's the news. I'm Alskis. For all, by for all. The ending experiments that you're about to see usually is a little uh, loopy, but this time it's not that loopy at all. While uh, viewer discretion uh, is advised, we do like to inform you that it's actually a lot better uh, this time. Please enjoy. It's time to go into the weekend in style. That's right. It's time for the ending experiments. It's time to get your randomness going. That's right. It's Random Thoughts with George Thompson. Good morning, I'm George Thompson. Today we're gonna do some random thoughts, of course. Now, let's talk about David Beckham. If you guys don't know, he's a soccer slash football, that'd be European football star who is trying to get a documentary about himself on either Amazon or Netflix. Now, here's my advice, try Nick at night. Anyways, um, <clears throat> he told his, um, his Inter Miami CF uh, club after losing five games in a row not to give up when things get rough. Just take a look at Vigilante and Cobalt. Okay, sir. Yeah, they never gave up, and they kept mastering their skills. Facts. No, are you still trying to get Vigilante's love? Yeah, and I tried everything. I've called him, sent him an email, and sent him a dancing video, but nothing has worked out. Huh. Have you tried singing for him? No, I haven't. What should I sing? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, maybe a ballet? Great idea. Thanks, George. Vigilante will take me out on a date soon. I can feel it. <laughs> Toodles. Uh, me too. I'm out too. Peace out. That was your randomness for tonight. That was Random Thoughts with George Thompson. From Nickelodeon Studios, home of the craziest football kicks in the world, it's the Miss Becky Show. This morning, a discussion about David Beckham and an appearance by Luther, plus Marley Carson and Emotional Fireflies 9-7. And now, a woman who needs to make this goal to win the FIFA Cup, Miss Becky. Thank you so much. Good morning. I'm Miss Becky, and welcome to the show. It's quite interesting that soccer here in the U.S. is called football everywhere else. Anyway, David Beckham is currently talking to Netflix and Amazon about having his documentary out in public. I choose Amazon because Netflix is giving all of us a headache right now. Meanwhile, his entire Miami CF club lost five matches in a row. But he reassured the club that there will always be another game. You know, this whole thing reminds me of what happened last week. Why can't I make it to the big time? I mean, barely anybody's watching my show. And you're getting all the fame and glory. You'll make it there someday. You're not alone. Miss Becky's struggling too, you know. But she's on earlier than I am. Yes, but she's still on Nick at Night. Wait. 
Are you still talking about your situation with Marley Carson? Yeah! I thought Marley was done being jealous. I know! She's crazy! She needs to calm down! It is time to shut this thing down! My thanks to everyone who's involved in this program, and I'll see you back here next week. Toodles! That was The Miss Becky Show, a show that David Beckham loves to watch. This has been a Casting Shoe production recorded in front of a live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando at Universal Studios, Florida. Late on October 23rd, 2020, and early on October 24th, 2020, this morning on the stars of Nick at Night, David Beckham is interested in making a documentary, and he's too good for Emotional Fireflies 97 interview. Ouch. Also, a clip from Molly Carson's podcast will reveal two things. All these hunger for fame and her friendship with Luther. All this and more right now on the stars of Nick at Night. On the Nick at Night Studios, we bring you the stars of Nick at Night. The strangest show on television ever. <laughs> and now, the woman who loves to make people smile wider than a crocodile. Emotional Fireflies 97. Thanks for that, my main man and now to stand. I don't think his name's Stan, but it rhymed. So we were going to talk about David Beckham this morning because he was going to do an interview before Craig Knightley gets a hold of him, but his people said he had a cold coming on. Whatever. We have star news from, you guessed it, Marley Carson. Marley Carson has started her own podcast. It's hours and hours of her talking before her show starts. So there's a lot to unpack. Today I was clicking through one of her interviews with our own Luther and found a very interesting part. Roll the clip. I recently released the trailer for my new documentary and people have been buzzing about it. Actually, only 10 people were talking about it, so I'm going to talk about it with my best friend Luther. I wouldn't say that we're best friends, but sure, we can call one another friends. I'm going to ignore that statement. Today I'm extremely upset because David Beckham stole my idea. He wants to have a film made about his life after receiving inspiration from Michael Jordan's The Last Dance. Here's the thing though. I was inspired by Lance Armstrong's complaint and to make that masterpiece, do you think he stole my thunder? Yeah, he definitely stole your thunder. Just like Emotional Fireflies 97 did several weeks ago when she started doing her own show. That's why Luther's my best friend. He appreciates my crazy. Let's be honest. On Nick at Night, crazy is kind of our brand. It's actually our slogan. Nick at Night, crazier than the Eric Andre show. Oh, well, since we're here, should we do our secret handshake to show everyone how close we are? We don't have a secret handshake. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. And then spin. We do spin. Uh, and then moves. Moves. Ta da! Totally not improvised. I definitely knew that was going to happen. And that's the end of the show. Bye. Bye. Well, that was a mess. I knew Luther was on the overnight show, but I didn't know that they had a secret handshake. Fun fact, Marley Carson asked me to be on that episode of her podcast, but I was too busy with my own successful show to be on it. What did you say? How did you get in here? We have security. I had a little help from Misty Mittens. What is she? <laughs> Part-time cat burglar. I appreciate the pun, but no. I just wanted to say that our handshake was super real and has been worked on for years and years. You guys have known each other for like two months. Well, we trained for it before we knew each other. I guess you could call us soulmates. Yes, we're cool. But did you have to compare us to Miss Becky and Vigilante? Wait, Miss Becky and Vigilante are a couple now? I know! George Thompson got Miss Becky to talk about it on Random Thoughts a couple of weeks ago. And let's just say that it was emotional and revealing. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Are you really about to end the show? You didn't even say the name of my podcast. It's called the Extremely Early Podcast. See you next week with more star news. It might have something to do with Miss Becky going out with Vigilante. She didn't even thank me for my surprise appearance. And she stole all my Kit Kats. She knows that I love Kit Kats. 
That's totally rude. Does security do anything? Cut the film. Quick disclaimer, we do not condone breaking into naked night sets, but for entertainment purposes, we'll allow it. <laughs> yeah, right. For other naked night stars. Please tune in. Please forgive us for Molly Carson Zaniac. Tune in next week for more star news. Did you know that there's a Kit Kat bar in every shoe now? Free Kit Kat bars? Come to mama. Naked at night. It's a place that you should not miss. Luke and Marv, you're good friends. That's a kind of weird kind of list. <gasps> the stars of Nick at Night was recorded in front of our live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando at Universal Studios Florida. Hey guys, Joey Headphones here. Sorry for the lack of a game show this week, but David Beckham didn't want Nick at Night to do a game show about him because if we did, then we would have been in trouble. Don't worry, I'll be back next week with a game show that won't get us into trouble. Until then, please enjoy this perspective special about me. Hello, this is Luther. Normally, at the moment, we would be watching a game show sketch starring Joey Headphones, aka Plumber J, but due to unfortunate events, he hasn't been available for the past two weeks. Luckily, though, the game show sketch will be back next week. But for now, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy some of his best moments. Hey, welcome to Bite Lines. This is the game with a twist. Not only does the contestant have need to give us the number one answer to a survey to get some money, but that contestant also has to give us the actual title of what the person, place, or thing is. Today we have Steven Staplers. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. I'm a plumber with a plumbing company and I practically do everything myself. Wow, we need to get you some money so that you can get other people to do some of the work for you. Okay, here we go. We surveyed 100 people and we got the number one answer on the board. Here's my question. Name a quality that a social media platform must have. It must be better than TikTok. Okay, even though that's not a hard thing to do, let's see it. Okay, you got $100. But if you can tell me the social media platform that's better than TikTok, you can get out of here with another 700. Is it Byte? You got it! You have a total of $800. Congratulations! Be nice to one another and we'll see you back here again next time on Byte Lines. Peace! And now it's time for an important moment with Dr. Willie. And now, Yes, Dr. Willie. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Willie. Let's have an important moment just between the two of us. You know, David Beckham, he wants to have a documentary made all about, you guessed it, himself. And he's trying to get said documentary on Netflix and Amazon. First of all, Netflix hasn't been great since a horrible nightmare came out a few months ago. And I don't need to tell you what that is because I don't want to throw up. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm good. Second of all, David's so vain that he thinks the whole world is about him. Got a news flash for you, Davy boy. It's not. Not even ESPN wants to deal with whatever it is that you're selling. I mean, then again, you did give the Inner Miami FC Club a pep talk after losing five matches in a row. So I can't say that you're all too vain, but that's not the point, is it? The point here is that you shouldn't be trying to get Amazon or Netflix to give you another chance. No, you should be trying to get something on Nick at Night. I mean, come on, Nick at Night's just always ready for some original programming. Then again, you might have to settle with a time slot that's on after a movie night with Willa Vakis. Willa Vakis is a lot cooler than David Beckham, isn't he? Mm-hmm. You're darn tootin'. He definitely is. Now, 
Folks, that's it for me tonight. I'm happy to be a member of the Nick at Night family. We're going to have a great time together, aren't we? You're right, we are. So I'll see you folks next week. Take it easy or don't take it at all. I'm Dr. Willie. I'll see you guys soon. I think we got that. That was an important moment for Dr. Willie. A casting scene production recorded over live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando at Universal Studios, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Fit. So I'm out here again, you know, in the Antarctic, right before it snow. And I have to say, it's quite fine this time of night. And then I heard about a man, I believe his name was Sir Breckenham. Now, let me ask you a question. Ain't he some type of soccer ball player type guy? I right, soccer, yes. Okay, so if he's a soccer player type, type person, and he can kick, kick the ball good, you know what the hell is he doing? He should be plainly playing soccer, getting stronger, getting faster, getting quicker, and doing the sport good. What is he doing right now? Uh, he just, uh... Talk to Amazon Netflix about getting a documentary oh, out my, about no, himself. No, no, no. What you finna do is you're finna go back in the gym, you finna train your legs, train your, your lungs, train your heart, and you're gonna be the number one so soccer player because I'm Captain Fit and I know what's good for athletes. And I say keep doing what you were doing and get got the game. That was Captain Fit, yes. Okay. My name is Mr. Hat Knockers. And I just want to say, David, 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 David. How many times do we have to go over this, okay? You know what? Leave uh, Netflix alone if you're trying to get a documentary going on Netflix. I mean, seriously. Everybody knows that Netflix has gotten pretty bad in the last uh, few months. Alright? Just, seriously. Last time, uh, somebody had a documentary on Netflix, look. I almost lost, uh, hair. Okay? So. Wish you hadn't bald. That, <laughs> but, be careful out there, man. Be careful. Ah, damn. Why can't David Beckham be cool? Now, listen up. These, these are the reasons. Number five! He hates relaxing. Number four! He loves to kick. Okay. Number three! He loves his beer. Number two! Ah, my arm! <laughs> he wants the he wants the fame. And finally, the number one reason why he's trying why he can't be cool. I can't tell if that says he's a van or he's so vain. Or he's vain. So I'm guessing he's he's both. So you heard it first here, folks. A van can kick a soccer ball and a van is vain. I'm telling Fox News. I'm telling Fox News. Yo, Fox News. <laughs> okay, what does David Beckham love? Well, he loves sports, money, Netflix, fish. Monkeys and fame. I don't know who came up with these, but whatever. What did we learn? Well, David Beckham's nice, but he's vain too. He also loves money. Of course, another, a big reason uh, why we're doing this, you know, is another, re another thing that we've learned. Netflix blows. That's it. Let's have some bedtime music. Sleep well. And now, jazzing your stress away, it's the musical performance time. And now, a classic song entitled The Wolves by Bette Midler, as performed on Family Guy in the late 2000s. Enjoy.
now a special performance from our very own Emotional Fireflies 97. You and me, we used to be together, every day together, always. I really feel I'm losing my best friend, can't believe this could be the end. It looks as though you're letting go and if it's real well i don't want to know don't speak i know just what you're saying so please stop explaining don't tell me cause it hurts don't speak i know what you're thinking and I don't need your reasons Don't tell me cause it hurts Our memories Well they can be inviting But some are altogether mighty Frightening Well as we die Both you and I with my head in my hands I sit and cry Don't speak, I know what you're saying So please stop explaining Don't tell me cause it hurts No, 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 don't speak, I know what you're I love classics, so does she. We're both crazy about good TV. We have so much in common. We're crazy about Mick at night. 